module. Now she's keeping the blaze watch. Right. Well, it should be that the hatch will be opened. Uh, I was told there was a key that is. Uh, yeah. That is in the in the middle of the hatch. They, they have to open with a key and turn the key to open that hatch. We should also emphasize that the water well, the hatch has been opened. The hatch has been opened to China's first uh, prototype of space lab, Tianggu One, and uh, astronaut is waving his hand to the camera, of course, but uh, that means he will get into Tianggu One, the space module that has been flying there for nine months. <laughs> And uh, it looks like uh, he's in good shape. And the, there are a lot of handles on the wall. Uh, he's basically floating around and have some fun. Yeah. Beijing. Quite interesting. <laughs> because before that, we have never seen a Chinese restaurant maneuvering in such a big place. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also, Mr. Liu Wang. And also, <laughs> astronaut Liu Wang is is flying into this uh, space, and they are checking. This should be a familiar environment. They they they've been there on the ground, but yes. it's just uh, nine months in between. We should say that the the ground simulation is efficient and effective for them, for their training. And now they will probably turn on all the powers and check all the parameters. And the voltage of the two vehicles are quite different. The voltage of the Tianggu-1 target vehicle is about 100 volts, while the voltage of the Shenzhou-9 spaceship You, you mean they have two different power systems? Yeah. Why is that? Why don't they have the same identical power system so that they can... Uh, there are many reasons, historical reasons and technical issues. And the total output of Tiangong-1 target vehicle is about uh, 3,500 watts. This is even larger than the uh, first generation of uh, space stations before. I don't know whether you can tell where is the sleeping quarter, where is the working area. Uh, well, the, there are two sleeping bags, the, the green one. Two no, sleeping on the left. of the <coughs> atmosphere inside Tiangong-1 before our astronaut entered uh, What, what is the uh, optimal temperature inside the cabin of Tiangong-1? 23. 23 degrees Celsius. Yeah. So it should be a comfortable environment. We should emphasize that there is no up and down concept now. Mm. Many people are s saying that uh, when astronauts get into space, they may run into 